Good morning. This is going to serve as our week 13 and week 14 overview because you have a two week period now in which you are polishing the draft that you turned in this morning of your uh, research paper. Okay, And this polishing process is very, very important. You can't rest on your laurels now. Okay, I cause you to get a draft in. Just once again, it's sort of a touchstone, as a milepost to move you along and also to give your peers a chance to look at your project, talk to you with about it, and see how you're doing, that kind of thing. Okay, But now you need to spend this two weeks still thinking about your paper and still working on your paper. This is critical, all right? You can't waste this two weeks um, for a couple of reasons. One is I have a very, very low tolerance for uh, polished drafts that are turned in sloppily. I really do. If you turn in less than a 10-page paper, uh, by the time you're ready to polish the draft, turn it in, I'll be really cross. If it has lots of errors in it, I'll be really cross. Lots of you know surface features that are wrong, I'll be really cross. If you've not developed the paper well, I'll be really cross. And I'll really deduct a lot of points for those kinds of things. Okay, I've had students turn in a six-page paper at the last minute and expect me to polish it for them, and expect that they still expect to get an A. That's not going to happen. The most you can get, all right, in the revision process. Uh, is generally 10 points. That's a little bit, that's about a letter grade, okay? And you can't even be guaranteed that. But it's a very important 10 points, okay? And so it's, it's critical that you turn in the very best paper that you can, that you work on it still as hard as you can. So towards that end, I provided you with two tools, one of which is the peer review process that you're engaged in right now. And it's a critical process, and I know I've mentioned this. Uh, sometimes it's frustrating, I understand that. Uh, so, so what you do is if you're not getting really good comments back from your peers, by good I mean substantive, okay, don't worry about that. Instead, be looking at your peers' paper and saying to yourself, wow, look what they're doing. You know, they're doing this really well. How come I can't do it this well? Okay, maybe they're integrating their source material really well. Maybe they have really good sources. Maybe they have lots of sources. Uh, maybe they're just really using direct quotes really well. Maybe their paragraphs are really focused. And you know how to look for that now, because that's what I've been teaching you all semester, okay? So be looking for what your peers are doing well and say to yourself, am I doing it that well? Okay, am I, am I as good? Is my paper as good as this paper that I'm reading? If it's not, you need to go back and look at your paper and say, okay, how can I model what my peers are doing? Okay, so that's one thing, uh, one place where the peer review process can work really well. Even if you're not all that pleased with the su substantive nature of the comments that are coming back to you, that's fine. Look at your peers' papers with the idea of say, hey, what can I be doing to imitate what they're doing? Okay, what will bring my grade up? on my draft. Okay. Uh, then the second thing you can do is I've, I've set uh, in your email, look in your email please this week, uh, I put a, uh, an email in there and that email contains a link to an entire web page of other links that are all about revision issues. Okay. And I've got things as simple as you know, run on sentences, links to issues about clutter, links to issues about larger issues such as good introductions, good conclusions, links to issues about how to integrate your quotes successfully, how to use source material successfully. So if you still need some more help on some issues, please go ahead and look at this page of links that I provided for you. I call that my page revision links. All right, look at that. So please help yourself. It's imperative that you continue to polish your draft. You never turn in to your professor anytime in college or any in business situation, anything. You never turn in your first effort. You absolutely don't do that. And if there's anything else I can teach you in this course besides the power of research, all right, the power of finding good information before you make up your mind about something, the other thing I'd like to teach you is about revising, all right. Make sure you turn in a very, very polished project, which means you need to look at it yourself multiple times, as well as, well as having friends, peers, significant others, whatever, also look at it with you to give another reader's point of view. Um, last but not least, um, it's very critical if you hope to get uh, a lot of help from me in the revision process, it's critical that you turn in what's called a writer's memo. This needs to be a separate attachment, all right, and it needs to be a half page at least, if not a full page, telling me what you've done well in the paper. I want to know about that first. What have you done well? And then what are you, what are you still struggling with? What do you need some help with? This is called a writer's memo. I have to have this. I cannot. Uh, successfully help you revise your paper unless I get a clue from you what you're still uh, needing help with and also what you think you've done well with, okay? Because that way I can look at that too. And we can, it's kind of a way to talk back and forth. I need your input. You need to tell me, uh, uh, you need to talk to me so that I can talk back to you. So that's what the writer's memo does. Please make sure you have that. I will grade you much more favorably if, if you have that memo. If you don't have that memo, uh, I'll be disappointed. It'll probably reflect in my assessment comments, that kind of a thing. So as usual, if you have questions, please email me, email me over the, uh, this two-week period. All right, don't forget I don't work on weekends or holidays, so don't expect to hear from me then. Uh, make sure your polished draft is due in on time. I uh, religiously force the syllabus um, throughout the entire course, but right now even more so. Okay, it's critical that we all arrive at the end of the course on the same page at the same time. So hey, thank you.